if you are at home and you're sitting on your couch and you are watching this right now, all I have to say is that this is hard work. I've worked hard for a long time and it's not about, you know, it's not about winning, but what it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion and it's not about how many times you get rejected or but you fall down or you're beaten up. It's about how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going. Thank you. How about that? What a show today. Bo Deedle was great. Eric Ulrich, vote for him today. Still to come, Gordon Chang on the president's meeting in Vietnam today and Anthony Cumia. But that was Lady Gaga accepting her award at the Academy Awards on Sunday night. And my favorite, and Bernie too, this... Lady does such a great job on entertainment tonight. Also contributes, as she did yesterday, to CNN. Been a long-time contributor to the Sid Rosenberg Show and the Bernie and Sid Show as well. Dear friend Nichelle Turner joining us live from Los Angeles this morning. Nichelle, good morning. How are you? Fellas, I'm good. Long time, long time. How you yeah, doing? it's good to have Too you well. back. You look great. You know, I follow you on Instagram, and I know you're working out hard. You take those, like, 6 a.m. L.A. spin classes. They're working for you. <laughs> but, um, hey, listen, there's one question you have to answer at the very top. That was Lady Gaga. And inquiring yeah. minds want to know, oh, is boy. Bradley Cooper banging Lady Gaga oh. or not? You are absolutely <laughs> out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's a yes? <laughs> it's 6 o'clock in the morning here, and that's what you're hitting me with first thing in the morning. Well, let's put it another way, Michelle yeah. Turner. Let's say, for example, Mel B and others are producer. A lot of people were saying that that was a bit much in front of his girlfriend, the way they were looking at each other. It was almost like Mel B was, say, was saying, yo, get a room. Uh, well, here's what I will say. Yeah. You know that his girlfriend is not a black woman, because I wouldn't have got <laughs> 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 Yo, that's <laughs> funny. And sat in between. <laughs> <laughs> that, I will acknowledge that. That's hilarious. That's fine. She's a beautiful girl, his girlfriend, but it, the, they did look a little cozy. That's all we're saying. I don't know. Yeah, she would have said, I'm off the deep end, and that would have been it. <laughs> um, but no, listen, their chemistry is undeniable. I think everybody, uh, you know, in America is saying, I think I'm pregnant now after that. <laughs> because it was a lot. Um, and it was gorgeous, and they really do have uh, affection for each other. It, I, I think that it makes the theater, and I think that they know exactly what they're doing that to get everybody talking and everybody's tongues wagging and, sure. and what is it and what's going on. And I, I think it's carefully orchestrated and perfectly orchestrated. Absolutely, Nichelle Turner. Listen, uh, you being an entertainment reporter, the Oscars is your Super Bowl, and... Uh, the ratings were up. The ratings were up yeah. this year. Last year, of course, was the lowest ever. It, I, I believe it was Jimmy Kimmel, but the ratings were up. However, a lot of people say, I don't know, they, they were still the second lowest ratings ever. And uh, they no didn't have a host. No going to be satisfied with the Oscars. It's no. just what it is. It's a thankless job. That's why they can. it's hard to find a host because the day after, no one's ever satisfied with the show. It's always going to be too long. It's always going to be too much. It's always going to be too then we're always going to continue to watch. That's yes, fair. The ratings are down, um, you know, overall, because I think there's just a lot of other things that people can consume and watch. And so when you have a huge choice of a lot of other things, then your ratings for your big shows are going to continuously go down. Now, they did go up this year without a host. So now people are saying, hmm, maybe we'll continue to do that. I think that the show set a great tone at the beginning with Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, and Maya Rudolph. So, I I. so many people saying yep. we wish they just would have hosted, and yep. in essence, they kind of did, because what the host usually does is a monologue at the top and then kind of play traffic cop through the rest of it, and they did the big monologue at the top. Um, so, you know, you never know what will happen now. But, but like you know, the Academy Awards are that. I mean, people... The ratings are going to continue to go down, I think, um, over the years because there's 18 million other things to watch. And, like, people like The Real Housewives of Atlanta as well. And they're still, they're on no, the it's so old. Those are reruns. It's not the new season. I watch it, trust me. And Kenya was probably, and Nini were probably at the event with you on Sunday night. No, but, but the reason why the ratings are going down, and you know this because... 
you're um you you actually you transcend entertainment. I remember talking to you down in Miami. Uh, I don't know, going back four years ago, Nichelle, when you, forget about Sean Hannity, forget about Rachel, you were one of the first people to interview President Trump. And, that is true. Yes, and you did a great interview. You were fair, and I thought he was very nice to you, and it was great. But you know this, and I watch the Academy Awards. I watch the whole red carpet. I get into the whole thing. But you know that the politics that come out of Los Angeles and come out of California, right off the bat, are going to turn off about half the country. Well, if, if we're being fair, I think that's a good point. Um, I, I did have a conversation with someone yesterday who said, um, you know, my in-laws came to visit, and we were all, you know, going to watch the Academy Awards, and they automatically, before they even came on, said, I don't want to watch it because I don't want to hear the political stuff. I don't want to deal with all of that and hear people trash the president. Well, I, I get that that's the narrative going in because people think that's what they're going to get out of Hollywood. But if you watch the show, you really didn't, you didn't get that. You got one quip from Maya Rudolph at the beginning, which, you know, she said, and Mexico is not going to pay for the wall. That's really all you got. Oh, Spike Lee. Got- Spike Lee also. Javier Bardem. Yeah, them. yeah and Javier on, Bardem. Hold on. Yeah. Let's have this conversation because Spike did not mention the president. What he said was, let's vote in 2020. You not pick love over hate. Well, he, that's- if, that, if people, but hold on. Yeah. If you are taking the fact that he was taking pot shots at the president, then in my opinion, you're saying that you believe Donald Trump is the, the hate because he never said his name. And I think people are just so quick to go to, oh, he's slamming the president. Yeah, we know Spike doesn't support President Trump, but what he was saying is mobilize and vote. And I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, and if that's the only thing you get out of three and a half hours of that, count it as a win. Okay, uh, Nichelle oh, Turner. Uh, final question, uh, I guess, uh, back, forget Trump, back to Spike Lee and, and the Green Book. Spike Lee turned yeah. his back when the, they were ex- doing yeah. their acceptance speech. I mean, uh, what's the problem with the Green Book? And uh, or, or was that I don't know. Was that justified or no? Have you seen Have you seen the movie? Have you guys? I seen saw it. Movie? Yes, I saw it was fantastic. Okay. Um, okay, so you thought it was fantastic. There is a, a huge number of people who, not that they didn't think the movie was pleasant, but what they thought they got was an after school special version of a movie about race relations and the Green Book, because if you know what it is, it was a guide that that was created and developed uh, starting back in the 40s by Victor Hugo Green, and it was really the African-American's guide to traveling, because in those days, so many black people were turned away at hotels, at restaurants, at, at rest stops, and so what he did was develop a guide for black people to be able to navigate through the country when they travel, mm-hmm. places where they could go, places where they would be served, places where they would be stopped, so there wouldn't be any problems. That's what the Green Book was. So what if you saw that movie, what people felt like they got was a watered-down version of what it really was, and what they got was this love story between two people, a black man and a white man, and again, they got a white savior film. So... So there was really a feeling of this really wasn't the way that it happened. Don Shirley's family was never um, was, was never given uh, you know their version of it. It was all from the view of Tony Lip's character, and all from 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 that angle. And I, the people feel like in Hollywood, that's what they always get. Whether you're talking about the help or driving Miss Daisy or the Blind Side, they get the white protagonist character who saves the black folks. And that, in essence, was what was the problem. I think Spike felt that, too. He felt like, again, he lost again to another driving movie because, of course, we know he lost to Driving Miss Daisy um, from uh, over uh, Malcolm X back in the day. And he was, you know, just, again, he was unhappy about it. And, and there, there has been an uneasy feeling throughout this process. There's been apologies for this film. Mahershal Ali yeah. apologized because he never, you know, consulted with Don Shirley's family. He didn't know that they were there to do that. He said, um, Theo Mortensen dropped the N bomb at a panel discussion in LA yep. talking about the film. There, so there's been a lot of issues with it. No, there's and no doubt. Was, listen, listen, listen. You just did a great job of explaining it. Now, we live in New York. We know Spike. We think he's a jerk anyway, to be honest. He's a brilliant guy and a great director, <laughs> but we don't like he's him. He's a lot. I'll yeah. say that. Yeah. He, he's a but, lot. but you were great. You look great. You look great. I watched the red carpet, which is my favorite part. I actually, once the awards start for me, Michelle, that becomes anticlimactic. I like, I like the red carpet. But uh, I you're. Do. Yeah, you were great on CNN yesterday, Entertainment Tonight, and we love when you come on this program. You were great this morning. Thank you so much. 
Thank you guys for having me always. I appreciate you. All right, All sweetheart. We love you Michelle. too. Nichelle Turner, Entertainment Tonight and CNN.